Turkish police have reportedly detained several members of the Al Nusra Front, a jihadist group that's fighting among the Syrian rebels against the Assad government. The men were apparently on their way to the Syrian border, transporting a cylinder of Zarian nerve gas. Live to RT's Middle East correspondent. Now, Paul, let's for more on this. Paul, what more can you tell us about these arrests and specifically how do they tie in with uh, Western concerns of the, over the use of uh, chemical weapons in Syria? Well, Turkish Special Anti-Terror Forces have detained 12 people. That's what we know. They are suspected of having links with the Al-Nusra Front, which is the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Syrian rebel group aimed at toppling the Syrian President Bashar Assad. Now, the group was seized in southern Turkey, and that is according to local media reports. The media also saying that they carried a two-kilogram cylinder with the nerve agent sarin. Now, Turkish authorities haven't yet commented on this report, and we are waiting to hear from them. Britain, the United States and France in the past have said that they believe it is Assad, however, that is using chemical weapons, but they haven't been able to produce any kind of evidence to prove this. The British government has written to the United Nations Ban Ki-moon alleging three new incidents of chemical use by Assad's forces, and at the same time the French government says that it is testing samples that were smuggled out by journalists. But all of this is hearsay at the moment, whereas on the other hand, we have and here, what we're seeing is fighters from the Al Nusra Front allied with the Syrian rebels caught with the sarin nerve agent gas. It is important also to point out and remind our viewers that the United Nations in the past launched an independent investigation, and that did conclude that there are signs that the rebels have been using this sarin nerve agent. Now, Damascus is supportive of an investigation, but not one that will lead to an Iraqi type of scenario. The use of chemical weapons is banned under international law and there are concerns that any kind of suggestions or any kind of proof of their use will trigger international intervention. Well, Paula, what is the attitude among rebels towards uh, the international peace efforts to resolve the crisis in Syria? The Syrian National Coalition has said that it will not take part in U.S.-Russia sponsored talks that are scheduled to take place in Geneva next month. The condition that they have for participating is that Iran and Hezbollah renounce all involvement in the, Syrian, in the Syrian conflict, and only if they do, do they say that they will attend those talks. This statement does follow the Syrian army's advances in the central part of the country. But with the European Union's arms embargo now lifted, some think that the rebels may, may, may try to gain the upper hand on the ground. Now, all of this is happening while the first batch of Russian anti-aircraft missiles arrives in Syria. Now that's according to the Syrian President Bashar Assad. He announced it while speaking on a Hezbollah television network. Moscow has said that it will continue to supply air defense missiles, calling it a balance designed to deter foreign intervention in Syria. The U.S., of course, is against the sale, it, and Israel has said that it will act to, quote, the Israeli defense minister to prevent the S-300 missiles from becoming operational on Syrian soil. The minister saying that if the missiles reach Syria, Israel, to quote him, will know what to do. All right, Paul, thanks very much indeed for this update. RT's Middle East correspondent, Paul Sleeo there.